If you want to speed up your Microsoft Power Automate flow runs, stop doing these three things. Number one, not using the filter query. Rather than returning all the items in this issue tracker, I'm going to filter items where the priority is set to high and the status is in progress. Number two, not turning on concurrency control when using the apply to each action. By default, the concurrency control is turned off, which means that the apply to each action loops through each item one after the other. With the concurrency control turned off, this flow took 30 seconds to run. When the concurrency control is turned on, the apply to each action loops through a number of items at the same time. This run only took eight seconds. It's important to note that if you're using a set variable action, you should leave the concurrency control off. Number three, nesting condition actions instead of using a filter array action. When you nest a condition action in and apply to each action, it needs to evaluate each item individually. Use a filter array action instead. This action reduces the amount of data being processed by selecting only the items that meet your specified criteria. 